Do you want to become a fluent English speaker? Or maybe do you want to see if you're already fluent in English? Well, that's what we're going to do in today's lesson. If you understand these next five collocation vocabulary words, then you are most likely fluent. Let's go. In today's video, we are going to go over five English collocation vocabulary words. Now, if you can use these five collocation words, if you can use them quite naturally in your conversation, then you're most likely fluent. And if you can start to learn how to use these in your English conversation, then you will become fluent. So these five collocation vocabulary words are so important. If you know them, if you learn how to use them, you're on your way to sound like a native English speaker. Now, today's lesson will have a little bit of everything. We're going to learn, like I said, five vocabulary words, five collocation words, which is a combination of two or three words put together. We'll do some speaking practice. And then at the end, we'll do a small little quiz to test your understanding. So this lesson will help you improve your speaking. It will help you build your vocabulary. It will help your listening. And of course, it will help your grammar. This lesson will help you speak English much, much better. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It's completely free. It helps out the channel a lot, and I'm sure I can help you improve your English. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so let's start by going over each of the five collocation words. After I explain each word, I'll give you an example sentence as well. After that, let's do some speaking, and then I'll quiz you. Number one, number one is make a point of. Make a point of. This means that you deliberately do something. You're doing something on purpose. You deliberately do something because you believe it is important. Okay, so that means you're doing some action. You're doing it on purpose because you believe it's necessary and that it's important. A great example sentence for this is, she always makes a point of arriving to meetings early. Number two, take someone or take something for granted. Take someone or something for granted. Now, this means that you undervalue, you underappreciate something or someone. All right, so you're not going to value it or you're not going to appreciate it as much as you should. A great example sentence for this is, I took her help for granted and didn't realize how much she did until she left. Number three, catch someone off guard. Catch someone off guard. This means that you surprise someone or you startle someone unexpectedly. A great example sentence for this is, the news of his resignation caught everyone off guard. Number four, keep someone posted. Keep someone posted. This means that you're going to keep someone informed about the progress of something. You're going to keep them informed. You're going to tell them about the progress. A great example sentence for this is, 
Please keep me posted on any changes to the schedule. And the last one, the last one is put something on hold. Put something on hold. This means that you are going to delay or pause an action or a decision. All right, you're going to delay it or you're going to pause the action or decision. A great example sentence for this is, we'll have to put our vacation plans on hold until next year. We'll have to put our vacation plans on hold until next year. Okay, so those were the five idioms. If you know these idioms already, and if you're using them in your conversation, then you're most likely speaking very fluently. But if you're not using them yet, then now you can. We've learned all five. We've also learned five example sentences. Next, let's do a speaking practice. Let's see these collocations in a regular conversation, in a regular real world dialogue. Now in this next section, I'll read black, you read red. Okay, I'll read black, you read red. Try to read along at a quick pace. Read it as I speak. Okay, I want you to speak at the same speed. All right, so again, I'm black, you're red. Let's go. Hey, are we still going camping next weekend? Oh no, that's a bummer. Can you keep me posted? I was really looking forward to it. Yeah, I made a point of asking him yesterday. He was fine with it, but it totally caught me off guard when he said he wanted to come with us. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Good idea. I'll make sure to pack some extra marshmallows. Okay, so how did you do? Were you able to speak along at the same speed that I was speaking? And could you understand how these collocations are used in real conversations? If you have any questions about this dialogue, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And while you're at it, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. It's completely free. Don't forget to get, give this video a like and hit that notification bell. Well, let's try this one more time. This time, let's switch. Let's switch roles. I'm still going to read black. You'll read red. But you're going to start the conversation. All right, so you start. You're going to read red. I'll read black. I'm not sure. I think we might have to put it on hold. Mike said that he wasn't sure if he could get the time off. Definitely. I'll let you know as soon as I hear back from him. By the way, did you ask your brother if we can borrow his tent? Oh, really? That could be cool. Just make sure you don't take him for granted. If he's bringing the tent, then at least we could do is bring him some snacks or something. Okay, so how did you do? This was the second time you read the other half. Were you able to speak along? 
Now, the main point of this speaking exercise is to build your fluency, build your speed, but it's also for you to understand how to use these collocations. All right, this is a great conversation that shows you exactly how to do that. But we're not done. The final thing in today's video, the final thing in today's lesson is a quiz. I'm gonna give you a fill in the blank quiz. I want you to read the sentence and choose the correct collocation to complete that sentence. Number one, Sarah always something sending thank you notes after receiving gifts. Makes a point of. Sarah always makes a point of sending thank you notes after receiving gifts. Number two, don't something his kindness, something. He won't always be so generous. Take something for granted. Don't take his kindness for granted. He won't always be so generous. Number three, the unexpected announcement really something us something during the meeting. Catch someone off guard. The unexpected announcement really caught us off guard during the meeting. Number four, could you something me something? On the party details, keep someone posted. Could you keep me posted on the party details? Number five, due to the rain, we'll have to something the picnic plans something for today. Put something on hold. Due to the rain, we'll have to put the picnic plans on hold for today. Number six, the surprise move to a new city, something, everyone, something at the office. Catch someone off guard. The surprise move to a new city caught everyone off guard at the office. Okay, so how did you do? Did you get all of those right? Let me know. In the comments section, please tell me your score. How many did you get out of six? Now, if you leave your score in the comments section, I will give you an extra tip, an extra collocation for you to, to learn and for you to know. So anybody who tells me their score in the comments section, you'll get an extra tip from me. If you couldn't get them all right, that's fine. Just review the lesson, rewatch this video, and try it again. Now, these collocations are very, very useful. It's very useful to help build your fluency. Redoing the speaking part of this lesson is so important. It helps you build your speed. It helps to build your pronunciation. All right, so make sure you practice that again as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. And remember, if you're not a subscriber, do that right now. Also hit the like button and the notification bell as well. Until the next lesson, see ya.